as a business coach um, and a sales coach, but I always love to talk to the people on the show who have a recent stuck and how they got unstuck in their business. So what is, before we dive in, what's that for you? Um, the stuck for me was the trusting trainers to go in for me. Ah, yeah. So the scalability factor. And yeah. so it was like, I can deliver anything. I can get, deliver a talk, training, do whatever. But now it's like, okay, I have to build up trainers with me. And then it was the stuck part was, do I do it? Can I trust them? And then, right, do I see the business growing that much bigger that I can take the livelihood from other people yeah to to be trusted to me yeah and so i i i hear you on that because i think we're kind of alike i mean i've only known you for a couple of minutes but a lot of the there's there's the coaching and then there's the the framework of what you're coaching but then there's the intuitive nature to connect with the people to to right. feel the energy of the room on the specific person and so it's not just teaching the product or the uh, or what you're going to teach but can you connect to the team to the people that you're actually coaching right, right. and yes. so and and finding that type of person is even extra difficult true and yeah. and my my philosophy is edutainment right we're going to educate you and entertain you at the same time so i can't have somebody that comes on board and, and it's going to go play a video but is right. offended by the prank video Right. That, they're, that, they, that I require they play it. Right. And I play right. it so I can determine if the person, the people in the room are should be in sales. Correct. Right. Right. And right. So, you, don't, you, you don't want edu boring. You don't want right. edu boring. Correct. I, I don't want talking head. Shut up. Do it my way. Correct. Right? And, and right. a lot of sales trainers go in and go, say what I wrote. Say what right. I wrote. Say what I wrote. And nobody right. understands the psychology. Nobody knows anything to do Correct. with what it is and th they walk out, right? And what's right. the biggest thing you have, John, you know, when you walk into a company because someone higher up said, we want you to come train people, the yeah. people walk in going, great, I should be out selling, even though you yeah. know you weren't, you were gonna go have a donut in the break room and you know <laughs> complain about the last 12 people. But when you look at it and go, right. you're in this room and my answer is, why should I listen to you? I don't right. even have to and there's that big filter, Yeah. right? Yeah. And so with laughter and humor, it breaks that ego wall yeah. down, and then now you can hear what we're saying. Correct. My yeah. answer is always, look, I'm not going to revolutionize your day. Take one thing from what I'm saying and yeah, go implement it. I do the same thing. I talk about, hey, just, just take one thing from today. One of the things I do when I'm starting a, a training, uh, whether it's leadership, sales, uh, whatever it is, is I always, within the first couple of minutes, have some type of um, one minute of silence because it, it gets them grounded and it gets them their awareness up so they can actually receive what we're teaching. All right, Joe, this was great. I appreciate that.